we're looking at a Jira board where we have two existing board, but we're looking at how to create a Kanban board. As you look at it, it says a creative project. So I'm creating a project called MD weight loss Kanban. There's an option to have an open board or a limited one or a private board. Jira just gives you three basic options whenever you start a Kanban board. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more column that's called a review. This column will be for the product manager to review the stories once the developer finishes their story. And we're also going to add another column called ready. This column is there for developers to pick up the work from. So to do is everything and ready will have only the things that are ready to be picked up by the developers. So this is our Kanban board to do ready in progress review and done. Let's look at how to create some stories. So the user story here is for creating a landing page for the MD weight loss website. You can add a description as a patient. I want to be able to go to MD weight loss website so that I can learn about their services for my weight loss needs and I've saved it and I can put a note of adding acceptance criteria later. So let's look at some of the acceptance criteria. It just means these are the conditions for acceptance. So a website should have a landing page with a welcome message. Website should have services page and pricing page. And lastly, website should have clinic phone number, working hours and address. And in Jira, you can literally just slide these stories to different columns. So if I want to have three user stories, I'll move these three user stories to ready column as the work is being done, it goes from left to right to done. So one thing that we can do is set up whip limits. So we are looking at a full Kanban board. We have eight items in to do four items on ready, three in progress, two in review, and one is done. So let's look at the in progress column. This could actually mean that there are three developers working because the working progress limit is three usually one per person. This is a pull approach. Developers are working on three highest priority items decided by the product manager. And as these are completed, this is put in review and product manager reviews the stories here and then approves it and says, okay, this is done. I accept it. And as team members complete the user story, they actually look at the ready column and these are the prioritized column of user stories and they will pick up another story. Now this column actually just turned yellow. And the reason is because the max whip limit is three. So whenever there are four stories in this column, it turns yellow indicating that team members should remove one of the blockers that they might have had, or they should take one of the stories back to to do or ready. The same thing can happen if you add more than three stories on review two. So because there are five items now, whip limit has been maxed out and it indicates that product managers should immediately respond, look at some of these stories, review some of these stories and get these two done. Another thing you can do is change this working progress limit and you can just do that by clicking here, set the column limit. And let's say somehow we realize three is a better whip limit. We can change this to three and we can save this.